today I have a very, very special guest um, from the Kinsey Institute. And um, maybe you can just introduce yourself a sure. bit more. Well, thank you for inviting me to visit Clue's office. It's been terrific to meet people who are so committed to improving women's health. I, I really enjoy that. I'm a professor at Indiana University in Bloomington and also a senior scientist at the Kinsey Institute, which is known for Kinsey's research on sexuality. Mm -hmm. And uh, my own work has focused principally on hormone variation in women and what that means for um, contraceptive use, for certain kinds of illness, what it might mean for fertility. So that's where my own work is. Fantastic. And why is it that some women can take the hormonal birth control pill and feel just fine and others feel horrible? Mm -hmm. like, why is that? Um, I would argue, and we have evidence to support this argument, that it's because women vary so much in their hormone profiles. No two women have exactly the same hormone profiles. Within a group of women, say within Germany or within Mongolia or within Bolivia or any country you'd care to name, there's a five-fold difference in the variation in hormones. And what this means is some women are taking a contraceptive that is just too strong for their own natural hormone levels. And that strong, that that too high a level of artificial hormones is, is difficult for them to process, and so wow. they're getting headaches. Whereas other women may even be at higher risk because the pill, say, isn't at a formulation high enough for them. Right, and this was something that came out um, related to obesity where we found out, or the research community found out, that actually for some women um, the, the amount of hormones in their pill is just not right for them anymore. Right. Is that right? That's or right. It? It's true. It's not right for them anymore. And there's more and more studies that are showing women of different body shapes, different age, um, different socioeconomic backgrounds need different formulations because of that variation. Even diet can affect your hormone levels. And the thing is, for so long, we've told women when they've experienced side effects like headaches or breast tenderness, these aren't important, these don't affect your lives, this won't kill you, so why are you fussing? Um, you know, and we're told to tolerate it or that it's just in our heads, it's not real, especially women in countries where the pill is very high compared to their normal levels. They're especially told that it's all in their head and that they shouldn't be worried about it. And my feeling is we should be changing the pill, not trying to change the women, right. you know, and, and that would be, of, it, it, it strikes me it would also be a very effective thing for pharmaceutical companies to do because then they'd have a larger market of more satisfied customers. Right, because because the fact is that a lot of women stop using right. hormone burn, uh, hormonal birth control because it's just too horrible. It basically. is too horrible. Yeah. And it's funny because when people think something like a headache, well, how big a deal is that compared to being pregnant? If you've got a headache 24 hours a day, seven days a week when you're working in the fields or working in an office or working in a factory or taking care of kids. How can you function? How can you enjoy life? How can you get anything done well? Mm -hmm. It becomes very difficult to really be a whole person. And um, that's really underappreciated. And so I think it's time for women to say, no, this is real, this is not in my head. This is something that is genuinely happening. And I expect the companies making these pills to make a product that suits me, not yeah. suits them. 